time's that one thing that you can't get back. You can't get back. Like everything else, everything else in the world. A friend of mine said this to me, that you can get it all back, except your time. March 5th, 2010, I was, I was snowmobiling. And we were deep, we were about 20-ish miles in. We were filming and we were getting the shots. We were hitting jumps that we had planned out for years. It was the best day of snowmobiling that turned into the worst day of snowmobiling. I knew I'd overshot it. I hit it full throttle and I just, I just stopped. I just stopped feeling. I just kept saying, just be okay. Just, Grant, be okay. I was just thinking about Grant and sending him every piece of me. I'm a newlywed. I'm a newlywed. I just promised the queen of my universe a life of bliss. And I'm about to come home with only half of me. Only half of me. The other half's just gonna be strapped to me. Took me some time to realize that I wasn't gonna move forward until I stopped looking backward. I just said, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. It was about a year after coming out of the hospital when I first got that call from Roy Tuscany that said, do you want to go to the South Pole? Do you want to go and achieve a dream of yours? This is the coldest I've ever been. The answer is yes. Yes, with every fiber in my being. Training changed. It went from recovery to shifting it to, let's train the way I used to train my body as an athlete for a goal. No matter how much experience we all brought to this expedition, no one had ever skied to the South Pole in a sit ski, and no one had ever guided someone to the South Pole in a sit ski. If they said it would be easy, then someone else would have done it. If you can be conscious to and find the elements of your life that you are grateful for, there is so much to live for. You gotta make the most of your time. You can't lose it, you can't miss it.